we're up in the air, enjoying a fantastic view aboard a unique airship. We're on board the Eureka, one of only three Zeppelins in the world. We're cruising at 1,000 feet above Long Beach Harbor. This is a Valentine ride, a trip along the Southern California coastline in mid-February. In the 1920s and 30s, these ships were a common sight. They made regular trips across the Atlantic and over major cities like New York. These airships take their name from Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, who pioneered his rigid frame airships in Germany in the early years of the 1900s. Now, decades after disappearing from the skies, the Zeppelins are back. And if you're in California, you can even take a ride on this very ship. The Eureka is owned by Airship Ventures and based at Moffett Field near San Francisco. And if you want a unique flying experience, you can join them on a trip over the Bay Area, the Monterey Coast, San Diego, or Los Angeles. On this trip, we're cruising at 1,000 feet over Palos Verdes and Long Beach Harbor at 35 miles per hour. The large windows in the cabin give us a 360-degree view of the entire region. The panoramic vistas are breathtaking. The cabin is literally a skybox, with two windows that open so passengers can feel the breeze. And this Zeppelin even has a restroom. The Eureka carries 12 passengers in a crew of two, and for many of the people on board, this is an experience of a lifetime. In fact, we were just talking about the, the movie The Bucket List, so you, this was on my list of The Bucket List, so I gotta scratch that one off. We hear that a lot as far as lifelong dreams, and they wanna do this before they pass on to another life, and uh, Bucket List is commonly used. But good times never seem to last long enough, and before we know it, we're headed back to Long Beach Airport. As we approach the ground, crews grab a line and moor the ship to a steel mast. After landing, the crew choreographs how we leave the ship. As each one of us steps off the Eureka, a new passenger steps on, keeping the total passenger weight in the cabin about the same, making it easier for the pilot to keep the airship on the ground. The Eureka takes off on another flight and we all board a van for the short ride to the airport terminal. And then it's time for a time-honored ceremony, a Zeppelin champagne toast, which has its origins in Germany during the golden days of the great airships. <laughs> 